Hi, I'm Mindy McIntosh, back with your next Macintosh Minute. And today we're going to talk about designing your fiscal house as part of an element. And this should be a key element in how you design a house. So think of it this way. If you come into our office, and if you're a current client of ours, you know this. I, I'm pictorial, and I like to show you some visual aids. And we have literally a house set up. But your blueprint financially is much like the blueprint or a footprint of, of a home that's being constructed or designed. We need to make sure we have a very solid foundation, right? And I know it's slippery out there and it's winter, so that foundation needs to be steady and stable. That means where are we getting income? What are you living on today? What do we have that's secure, that's usually drawing income from your pensions or an annuity? And how do we create that steady eddy for you to go along with Social Security in those retirement years? But we can't just have a floor, right? Or we would freeze this time of year. So what do we do with those walls? Those walls are our solid foundation parameter of knowing those key elements of how are we staying within our boundaries of our spending habits. What is happening to us if something were to deteriorate in our health? Are you covered for long-term care? Do you have a good health care plan? And then make sure we're putting a roof on it, right? So those investments or your stocks and bonds and exchange traded funds, the market makes changes, right? So we need to make sure that we have that house put together well and we're not all lopsided in one area or another. So let's make sure that we create the floor, walls, and a ceiling to your foundation. Make sure that we're building that together. And if you have more questions on this and how do you create this very much so stability that you're feeling like you need or you're lacking your retirement plan, please call us here at Wealth Michigan and stay tuned for next week's part two of your fiscal plan.